the surprise that I had when I took the call from the Washington Post on July 9th, and they said to me, are you the person that set up the Trump Tower meeting between a Russian attorney and Donald Trump Jr.? And I said, yes, why? I believe in my world as a, as a publicist in the entertainment business, if you've made friends, good acquaintances with somebody like Donald Trump, who first of all is powerful and successful and is a brand unto himself, and then is running for president of the United States, you need to save every single favor that you have, I believe, as the manager of somebody who was trying to break in the United States. I know what I'm like. I, if this had never happened, I, I'm sh sure that I would have had Emin performing at the inaugural or a ball or something. I'm sure that we would have made some joke and ended up with Emin doing a photo shoot at the White House. Those were the favors I would have been happy to ask and really, really put myself out there to make happen. Hillary Clinton herself had nothing to do with my email, but because they talked about illegal funding to the Democrats and its candidate, which is why they wanted to talk, well, she was the candidate. So if Joe Biden had been running, it was his name. If it had been Bernie, it would be his name. The only relationship Hillary had with that damaging information was that she was the candidate. I didn't explain that very well. It sounded much more like she was involved in some way, in a negative way. So I take ownership for that. It wasn't well written. As, as I say, it wasn't made up, but it was definitely made better and hyped because I believed I had one shot to get Donald Trump Jr.'s attention. If this didn't get his attention, well, then what do I do? I can't go to his father and say, well, I've just emailed your son who ignored me. I know he was not impressed because he stopped it mid-sentence mid and was just like, you know, thank you. After he said, I don't know why you're addressing this to us. I, you know, my father's a private citizen. But then he stopped it right away. And I was, as quick as he was off his feet, I was up two seconds later saying to them, thank you, goodbye, like, get them out. It was obvious to me it was an embarrassment. I'd send Ike Cavaladze a text message saying, you have to stop this. Look, our hosts are really irritated. I described them as a host. Jared Kushner, who had already interrupted Natalia and said, I've no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> he was fidgeting away. I actually laughingly said, you know, I thought his head would explode. But later I would read that he was saying to his assistant, get me out of this meeting however you need to. So, yes, I think it's fair to say that I didn't think they were impressed. And I certainly wasn't impressed. There obviously was some desire to hear what she had to say. There's no question of that. I wish I could have been on that phone call between Emin and Don Jr. because that's the missing link for me. Because the reason I don't have closure on this story is I know what I conveyed and I know what I hyped. I know what the meeting was and I know what was delivered. What I don't know is that bit in the middle that not only sealed the meeting, but suddenly kicked it up a level from an attorney and Don Jr. meeting to an attorney, three other people, Don, Manafort, Kushner. That's a big difference in my eyes, and I don't know what it is. But if, if the way in which they conducted my questioning is anything to go by, it's extremely thorough, it's extremely detailed, to the point, but nonpartisan, and professional, and that's what, that's what you need because the rest of all of this is just grandstanding. And that just, you know, and Donald Trump's as good as anybody else. He knows a good sound bite when he needs one. The Mueller team, you hear nothing from them, nothing leaks from them. I think it's just a really professional operation and, and we'll see, I mean, you know, it's been going however long it's been going. I'm, I'm sure at some point it will come to an end and people will see what they've discovered.